Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. As we all know that tomorrow is my last working day in my current organization, and uh, I would be joining the new company coming Thursday. That is August first. So due to this uh, exit for multis in my current company and uh, onboarding formalities for that uh, next company i am completely occupied with different things that's why not able to publish videos regularly apologies for that once i settle down in my new company then regularly i will try to upload and share my knowledge with you guys please be with me till then anyway so i come across so many comments from many of our friends that uh, they would like to understand about the new output determination in s that is uh, brf plus so this is a request i received from so many of our friends now let's see the basics about what is brf plus why s4 hana this has been introduced we know that in ERP, it will work based on NAST based output determination. Let me note it down. So in ERP, it's a NAST based output determination. Whereas in S4HANA, it's based on BRF plus. So BRF stands for Business Rule Framework. And uh, if I speak about Business Rule Framework, this is not newly new thing in s 4 It is existing in ECC as well. <clears throat> okay. So it is used as part of SAP DSM. So BRF used in as part of SAP DSM. So here DSM stands for Decision Service Management. Okay, so this has been used in uh, ERP for uh, more than 10 years. So in order to deep dive into and understand what is decision service management, let's understand this basics about this BRF plus. Okay, that means this has been still in the system, ten years back itself, right? Now this BRF plus has been used in S4 runner to determine the outputs, right? So earlier in ECC BRF plus used for different purposes. Now it has been using to trigger an output in S4 on a system. Okay, the first BRF plus in S4 on introduced in 15.11 version. So in 15.11, so it would 15 means here it's a 2015. Okay, this is that uh, year and uh, this is the month it's then november 2015 this brf plus has been introduced okay that point of time it is this brf plus is uh, available only for the po output determination only not for this order billing document no not like that it's initially introduced only in the po only and moreover brf plus is in api it's kind of an api we know that api means application programming interface so this will be act as an api as well and uh, sometimes the user interface for defining and processing business rule and uh, the important features so if someone asks you in the interview what are the important features about brf plus then we can say that 
like a simulation okay trace we can transport and we can ex export as an XML and import okay so this is the main features of this BRR plus the export and importing of XML so XML means the files okay and the transport them we can transport the changes from one system to another system and we can activate the trace and see and understand what's happening okay and simulation this one thing the main important thing that we should remember here is the trace and XML export and import you guys might aware of the trace we have we are using different transaction codes in SAP to activate the trace on performance of system SQL trace okay ABAP trace badge of trace user trace like this we can trace it means it will record the activities that particular user doing that what is doing that system from this time to that time and if I want to activate the trace on the background job then we can see what the background job is doing what all program is getting called what it is doing and we can actually trace on that ABAP program and we can see that uh, how the program is running which uh, step it is taking what we can see the timings basically right so how many seconds one step has been taken salt query how long it will, it will take it has taken and uh, loop running how long the loop is running right so this kind of a trace we can activate in system to improve a system performance similar way in brf plus also trace is available to understand this output working functionality here this is one of the new thing that we see in brf plus s4 hana but in nest based output determination we don't have this address okay so suppose you might think that brf plus only can be used in s4 hana system no not like that we can use this brf plus uh, concept functionality in ecc also right in order to use that the system so okay sap ecc should be should be netweaver 7.0 to sp6 okay or above that means we can use this uh, brr plus functionality in ecc system also and that uh, system should be equal to 7.02 to version service pack 6 or above right so it might be one of the tricky questions that we might expect in interview whether we can use brf plus in sap ec system we can say yes it can be used only the netweaver version 7.02 to service pack 6 or above less than less than this version means we can't use it in s1 system we can use it and greater than this version also we can use it and we know that in uh, ecc the nast based output will work based on the smart forms and we can use sap scripts also right and moreover the sap smart forms has a lot of limitations if you compare that output with the pdf document if you compare the document smart form with the pdf document you see the pdf document is a uh, more uh, official and more robust actually the look and feel also good actually in pdf document that's why the outputs in brf plus okay outputs in s4 runner system will work based on adobe document server and adobe forms only so we are uh, end to end using adobe forms only in s4 runner that means the the document looks very real and very robust and very looks very convincing actually compared to smartphone so you can compare that so when you start working in s4 runner 
you can compare that and i will also try to show you that that the difference in uh, ecc smart farms with the uh, s4 rana adobe server farms we can discuss further on this bro plus this video is simply introduction about this bro plus and this bro plus is by default activated for sales documents and billing documents okay and uh, we should remember that brf plus is not an mandatory that everyone wish everyone should use in s4 hana this is an optional only if you want to use brf plus you can use it if you don't want you can go with the old nast based output determination so there is no compression here either you can use that one or this one but we can't use both so keep this in mind and the important thing that we should remember is that brf uh, plus will support only the distribution only that uh, mediums like so it will support only the mediums like uh, print email and fax okay so apart from this this brf plus won't support anything else right so this is the the main drawback of this brf plus you can use print output email output fax output only okay it won't support the output types the medium iadac output types it won't support okay and uh, we have that a special function right special function also won't be support okay let me mention that also so medium 6 uh, won't be okay medium 6 8 okay a t this 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 mediums won't be supported in brf plus okay, so 6 means eda output a means ale output t means a task and uh, 8 means special function we discussed so many special function uh, requirements in the sap sd enhancement section right so this won't be supported in sap yes for na brf plus these are the limitations now but uh, we don't know uh, sap might come across, come up with uh, some other uh, improvisation to current brf plus to make it work this also in brf plus so we should wait and see how sap uh, overcome this problem and moreover we should remember that suppose we are we are using ecc and nast based only and when we migrate to s4 hana right that point of time there is no tool available to convert nast based output data to s4 hana there is no tool available we need to do this manually only okay so initially the brf plus won't be available in system that means uh, the basis team needs to import the xml forms so xml forms won't be available we need to download from uh, sap launchpad then we should uh, try to import that one here okay this is simply about this uh, brf plus the basics okay if i missed anything if you missed anything and if you like to add anything means please let me know in the comment section i will also learn from you and we can grow together okay so in the next in the, in the upcoming videos we will uh, detail discuss about this um, how to configure this brf plus what are the main benefits of brf plus okay we will see one by one step by step okay bye for now thanks everyone bye bye